We've finally reached it, my friends, my family. It's the best month of the year. December 2017 has arrived, and we are here to break down all of the Nintendo Switch releases for the 12th month of this calendar. What's going on, everybody? It's Zach from Switch Force. Gabe is here, and we have now had a whole lot of Switch months. Eight of them, in fact. This is the ninth month of Switch, and we have the game releases for you. We're going to break this video in half. The first half is going to be games that have specific release dates. We're going to go through those in chronological order, and then we will give you some games that don't have specific release dates, but are supposed to hit before the end of 2017. Gabe, it's been a great year, and this month is a little smaller, but it still has some solid releases. I'm very happy about it. There's like four games just off the top of my head looking at this list that I absolutely want to play and I'm excited for. So I think it's still a good month, although there might not be as many games. But of course, with the year winding down and the major releases having already come out last uh, month, especially for third party and the month before with the uh, Super Mario Odyssey, um, it's understandable why this is smaller, but we can get into the list now, I guess. Absolutely. And the biggest game of the month is on the first day of December, and that is Xenoblade Chronicles 2, $60, both eShop and physical. There's also a $100 special edition version, and Gabe, you've been playing a bunch of this game. It is a mega RPG, uh, comes in hot as, I guess, sort of the last big Switch game uh, of the season, and I know we'll have a review later this week, but as of now, anything you want to say about Monolith Soft's latest? That it's a big RPG. Well, the thing is I can't get into a whole lot of detail <laughs> yeah. without ruining yeah. like the videos that I have coming up. So I don't want to do that. Um, everybody, you know what Xenoblade is. Uh, if you are a fan of uh, traditional JRPGs and have been since the PlayStation era, you're, you're going to recognize a lot of what Xenoblade does because uh, the, they had... Uh, the Xeno Saga on PlayStation, like this is this hasn't always just been a Nintendo thing. Um, the Xeno games were originally on PlayStation. They have since then migrated over to Nintendo, and they found a great home um, on the Wii with the original uh, Xenoblade Chronicles. And of course, Xenoblade Chronicles X came to the Wii U. Now Xenoblade Chronicles Two. Uh, again, I don't want to get into the game very much, but I absolutely think that if you're a fan of, of JRPGs, this game's going to be for you. Uh, you know what it is. This uh, development studio has been doing it for a very long time, and they're good at what they do. Absolutely. Next up, we move to December 5th, where we have This is the Police. This is a THQ Nordic joint published. Uh, 30 bucks physical, currently on sale for $24 on the eShop. Interesting that they have a sale on something that isn't even out for a little bit, um, but this was a pretty well-received game on Steam. Um, it's kind of like a strategy adventure game. Um, basically, you are a police officer, and you're going through kind of uh, this sort of desolate and uh, dark city trying to figure out what is going on, and your police chief, Jack Boyd, Gabe, I feel like this is a game just made for you. It's got drugs, violence, nudity, language, blood. <laughs> And not that I like any of that stuff. I like stopping it. So that's why yeah. he's saying this. Uh, very positive uh, reviews on Steam. Um, the one thing that, you know, of course we have to mention, and I hate mentioning it, the Switch tax is back. Uh, this game yeah. is currently for sale for four ninety four five dollars on Steam. Uh, regular, It is on sale. The regular price for this on Steam is $15. Uh, it's a strategy adventure game um, set in a steady spiraling the drain. You got to take the role of, like you said, Jack Boyd and figure it all out. Um, the game looks cool. A, a lot of critical acclaim. I never played very much of it, um, but I'm, I just I feel so bad that these things are so expensive on Switch when you could get them for much cheaper somewhere else. It does have a, of a store shelf presence, so it might be cool, you know, to get a physical version. I know a lot of people are into that. But we also have two other titles on December fifth. The first being Caveman Warriors, a game I've never heard of. It's thirteen dollars, but it actually looks pretty cool. It's a cooperative platformer with a lot of boss battles, um, and it looks pretty interesting in terms of the creatures and characters that you're fighting. It's made by Jandu Soft SL. Uh, again, something that probably goes completely under the radar, but it kind of looks cool. And Gabe, I kind of think me and you should check this out. We absolutely will. Let me give you a little bit of description, uh, Zaki. They say, jump back in time and free your inner caveman. Smash heads in this local cooperative platformer game. Play solo or team up with up to four players. Inspired by games like New Super, uh, like New Super Mario Bros., uh, Joe and Mac, Metal Slug, and Trine. So there you go. Those are the inspirations. Um, I, I, yet again, it's cheaper on Steam. Uh, and again, I hate saying this stuff, but um, wanted to make sure that people are aware of that. 
thirteen dollars still isn't that bad. No, it's not. Yeah. Uh, the best game, though, of December 5th has got to be Nine Parchments. 20 bucks. It comes from Frozen Bite. Developers of Trine. They have a nice history. And there's a demo available. Gabe played through it, liked it. It's a co-op action RPG, another game that we'll have to check out to get together. It looks gorgeous yes. on Switch. This has, like, a really cool, like, elemental aspect to the gameplay. Um, it, it, it's a top-down, like, ad- adventure game. But you, you have, uh, at, at least from the demo, three different types of magic spell. You have fire, ice, and this, like, purple one that I don't really know what it is. And, you know, when a fire enemy's coming at you, you have to switch to the ice one to take them down. It's very cool. I'm assuming when you play co-op, they throw more enemies at you. Or, you know, as you progress to later levels, there are way more enemies coming at you. But I had a lot of, like, fun with the game. Uh, there's a boss level included in the demo. I do encourage you to go check that demo out. If you like it, uh, of course, get the game when it releases. It does have online co-op as well, so you'll be able to play with your friends no matter where they may be as long as you both have internet and uh i'm really excited for this yeah it looks really cool and it looks like uh trying was more of a platformer puzzle focus this looks to be more of a combat focus in terms of how the co-op uh integrates with the gameplay but i'm definitely pumped to check that one out so december 5th is a pretty solid day we then move to december 7th uh, which has another trio of games, the first being Tesla Grad for $15, which is an indie game that I've actually played before. It's pretty cool. Um, it's been out for quite a while on Steam and other platforms. Uh, it involves, obviously, electricity and different puzzles. It's very much, uh, I don't know how else to really describe it, except a very tried-and-true indie puzzle platform, but it's it's a solid one. I liked what I played of it. I never beat it, um, but it is, uh, it's $0.99 cents on Steam. And it's going to be fifteen dollars on Switch, so yeah, Switch. <laughs> very positive reviews, though. It's very cool looking. It's got a nice art style. Um, it is on super sale on Steam. The game's normally ten dollars on Steam, um, but it got really great reviews, and it comes recommended from me. Next up on December seventh, we have Human Fall Flat for fifteen dollars. Another eShop title. Um, this one also a previous release. You are kind of like a little uh, little blobby guy. And you are using uh, physics to solve a whole lot of puzzles, catapults, uh, rowboats, all sorts of swinging, hanging, um, and doing your best uh, to survive in this game from No Breaks games. No Breaks for this small little human game. Yeah. Uh, this has like a gang beast vibe to it. Like it looks, yeah. <laughs> it looks like it's in the exact same universe. It's probably not. But uh, that, that's the vibe I'm getting just from seeing the trailer. Um, Absolutely. Last up on December 7th, uh, Phantom Breaker Battlegrounds Overdrive for $10. This is a beat-em-up, another co-op game. A lot of co-op coming here for the holidays. Uh, Four players, um, and it is made by Mages Inc. It is a very anime-esque game um, and kind of like a side-scrolling four-player beat-em-up. We're not going to pretend like we know too much of what's going on here no <laughs> we'd be bad at pretending uh but i've heard i've heard people like Phantom breaker uh, it, it gets mentioned in our comments sometimes about uh you know we ask what stuff people are excited for in, in each shot videos and things like that so i've seen it mentioned once or twice so i mean I'm, I'm sure there's some community that's into it we we just are not them yeah <laughs> gabe have you been jonesing for mario party on switch i i have been jonesing for mario party on switch well, fear not, because we've got freaking Party Planet on December 12th, the day before my birthday, for 40 bucks physical version. You've got Party Planet, 30 party games across 10 worlds, four-player action. They say it's a cornucopia of party games, everything from action to puzzle to sports. It's all here. Level up and explore the planet. You've got competitive and cooperative modes, local multiplayer, and single-player could be fun, probably not very good. But uh, forty dollars, though. Yeah, it's a lot of money. Yeah, I mean, it is a lot of games, right? And you know, how many of them are good, and how many of them do you actually want to play? You know, that's that's going to be up to you. Uh, you know, we'll try to get our hands on code to play, so we can let you guys know. But um, you know, party games are absolutely perfect for the Switch. Uh, so this is one that we'll have to keep an eye on. Yeah, developed by Taeon Games. Uh, I kind of wish there was more games, more of like a board game vibe. It seems more like, hey, just jump in and play the mini games. Um, things such as Lava Golf and Hopper Jump, Gabe, my, my favorite December pastimes. Um, but there's also uh, The End is Nigh 
on December 12th for $15. It's also seeing a physical release. I think this is one of the best purchases of the month in terms of value and in terms of quality. It's obviously uh, a follow-up to Super Meat Boy. It comes from Nicholas, and it is also out on Steam. But this one, not that much of a Switch tax. No. Um, and uh, same with, uh, uh, what was it, Human Fall Flat, same price. I uh, just mm-hmm. wanted to throw that out there. But yes, the end is not a very difficult platforming traversal game uh, in the vein of Super Meat Boy. They didn't mess with the f- formula too much for this one. Uh, but, you know, if you're into that type of game, you know, it, it's available. I'm going to play it because I, I play It's good. It. Yeah, for sure. I, I know you played it a little bit already on, on other platforms, but um, I've been I've been waiting for it to come to Switch and... Uh, that's going to be a perfect handheld game, I think. Yeah, over 600 levels, 12 chapters, and uh, it's freaking 15 bucks. And it's currently half off on Steam, but normally it's 15 as well, so that's, that's good to hear. Before we move on, I am going to interject here with Ukulele, because this release date was announced after we made the video, so that's why you are hearing me. I'm the one editing the video. Hi. And uh, Ukulele available on the 14th for Nintendo Switch. We have been waiting for a release date for quite some time, and it can finally be yours on the 14th. It will, of course, be on the eShop. Uh, preload is available on December 7th, so get it if you want it. And for now, let's kick it back to Zach. I'm gonna interject one more time during this video, but let's get back to what we were talking about. Moving on to December 15th, we have Unepic uh, at $9.99, $10. This is a old school looking uh, side-scrolling RPG, not something that I'm super into. Um, it's released on other platforms, made by Unepic Fran, and uh, it is a small indie title that kind of calls back to PC games of yesteryear. Yeah, um, the, the concept of the game is you're like playing like D&D with your friends and then you got to go to the bathroom and then like your adventure ensues. Um, available on Steam for twelve ninety nine. so no, not much of, of a texture as well. Uh, very positive, overwhelmingly positive uh, recent reviews on Steam and very positive for all reviews. So uh, maybe it's this one that I'll check out. I know that maybe this isn't your thing, but it's definitely a little bit up my alley. So uh, maybe yeah, we'll and it's only 10 bucks on Switch, which is yeah. surprisingly cheap. Yeah. That moves us to December 21st, where we've got two more titles to close out the year in terms of games that have guaranteed dates. Max the Curse of Brotherhood for $15. This game is... I feel like it's been out for ages. Yeah, I, I think this I, launched I with Xbox on, One. I played it on... No, I played it on 360, I believe. 360? Okay. Or, or was that another one? Because there's multiple Max games. There's I, a lot of Max games. He has got a magic marker... And it's a cool concept. I, I mean, I think the game looks good, and it's a cool idea. I beat it. Um, <laughs> for 15 bucks. I mean, maybe? Yeah, uh, I, I believe you're right. Um, it, it's an uh, Xbox One game, sorry. Yeah. Max had some initial adventures before that, but um, it's you know it's got a 9 out of 10 on Steam. Very positive reviews. It has really pretty, uh, like, CG, Pixar-ish looking art. So I think, you know, I'm guessing you're going to use the touch screen green or maybe it's just going to use the, no. the analog stick you think just analog yeah. stick yeah remember okay. i played and beat this game so i'm familiar with it um that's true okay. yeah it, it, it's it's a good game uh original release december 20th 2013 so <laughs> only a yeah. day after the the anniversary of it uh, having come out in 2013 so i think that's kind of funny and unique uh, yeah. but it, it, it is it's a cool game i i, I liked it honestly well, there you go. Uh, also on December 21st is Tiny Metal. That game has seen a couple of delays, but it looks super good. This is honestly the game I'm most excited for, so I'm sad it's the last game to come out of the month. But right before Christmas, it is an Advance Wars-type title. It looks super freaking cool, and I cannot wait. There's no price as of yet. Um, hopefully, we'll have a review code and be able to bring you some coverage ASAP. But that game looks absolutely awesome. Cannot wait for Tiny Metal, and I hope it really fills the gap uh, that Advance Wars has left for years and years. We've also got Wargroove coming next year, but Tiny Metal getting in uh, ahead of the curve, and I hope that it delivers. Yeah, uh, like you, very, very, very excited for it. I wish we knew the price, uh, but we have a sense of how long it is. That They've mentioned 8 to 10 hours, which I think is great. Um, and I've said this before about Tiny Metal. At first, the, the art style um, kind of like put me off, but now I actually kind of like it, and I'm super, super excited for it. Uh, yes, it's the last game that we know about with a firm date. Um, mm-hmm. So when I said in the beginning of the video, there's like four or five uh, of these games that jump out at me. It's like I'm absolutely going to play them, and this is 100% one of them. 
for sure. And now we move on to sort of the half of the list that don't have firm dates. There are three games that I want to say uh, are pretty darn sure, and then Nintendo has listed some others that we'll touch on. First one is Pinball FX3. That is obviously out other places. They say it's coming to Switch for sure in December. It'll be a free download, and then you can purchase tables. Kind of a cool addition to the Switch. I feel like it's a pretty good place to play. Pinball portable machines are always good. I kind of wish you could hold the Switch uh, like yeah. uh, vertically. That would be cool. Um, Brawlout is a Smash Brothers type title that is also supposed to hit. On November 16th, they said it would be coming within a month, so in theory that would be the first half of December. I'm really pumped for that. I know it won't live up uh, to Nintendo Zone, but it still will be cool to have that kind of a fighter um, on the Switch, and I'm just super into that art style and the characters that they've got going on there. And then Floor Kids, Gabe's favorite game <laughs> of that uh, indie <laughs> showcase, is promised to hit in December as well. That game about breakdancing and being a, a cool kid, doing doing cool kid stuff on the floor. Yeah. <laughs> now, after that, um, there are a number of games that are trying to hit December. And I don't want to go through all of them because trying especially towards the end of the year ends up becoming delaying and don't want to get your hopes up but nintendo does list some so we're going to go through them here wwe 2k18 still has not released nintendo still has that listed on their website at 2017 not sure that that's going to make it though i feel like we would have heard something from 2k um by now sausage sports club another gabe classic <laughs> here uh, a party game about floppy necked animal friends up to eight players gabe this is this is your cup yeah, of tea that's definitely my cup of tea and hopefully it, uh, hopefully it steeps in time for a December release. Polybridge is a Steam classic, also out on a bunch of other platforms. A very good game, um, building bridges, and that is supposed to hit this holiday as well. You've got Pocket Rumble still, <laughs> still trying to get out there. Not sure that's going to make it, but Nintendo has it listed, so we'll mention it. <sighs> Payday 2, Gabe. Payday 2. Disregard every other game on this list. Payday 2 is where it's at. <laughs> I don't know if Payday 2 is ever coming out, but Nintendo still seems to think it no, is. No, they, they had an update. Like, the, the people making it, like, they had an update saying, like, hey, we're working on it. It's still coming. So, Payday 2 is definitely, definitely coming, dude. There we go. Uh, one of my personal favorites, uh, Mom Hid My Game. 50 levels of find your game, uh, like, sort of like a hidden picture seeking. It reminds me of something from WarioWare, but it's its own little, uh, own little product. I'm kind of excited to see what this is, if it actually hits. Uh, the aforementioned Floor Kids is also listed on Nintendo's website. Dragon Marked for Death is apparently hitting. It's a 2D side-scrolling action RPG. Again, a four-player co-op title. Um, not a lot of details on that, but it's it's listed. Um, Dandara, that's one that we were excited for from the initial indie showcase. This is a very cool 2D action adventure platformer. It's made by Long Hat House, published by Raw Fury, um, and looks very cool. You are basically... Going through the world, wrecking fools um, in a very difficult-looking uh, old-school hack-and-slash type adventure. And last but not least, Battle Chasers Night War. This hit for uh, PlayStation 4, Xbox One, PC. Got some pretty good marks. Um, we This was actually one of the early games that had a Switch tax thing going on, and it has been delayed and not released on Switch. I actually have been waiting to play this on Switch. Um, published by THQ Nordic and developed by Airship Syndicate. It's very pretty. Um, it's got that Joe Mad art style, and it has classic turn-based combat and deep dungeon diving. So pretty pumped if that does hit. That's the list, though. There are some other games that are trying to hit. Uh, Morphe's Law has said they're trying to make it this year, but I feel like that game is slipping, um, as well as a number of other others. Gabe here with another and the last interjection for this video. Mutant Mud's collection was announced to be coming to the Nintendo Switch very very soon. It doesn't have an exact date but it was approved and uh, they are trying to get it out. So Mutant Mud's Deluxe, Mutant Mud's Super Challenge, and Mud Blocks. All three games in one collection coming soon to the eShop. Just wanted to let you guys know and uh, there you have it. If there's anything we missed, though, let us know in the comments below, and also let us know what game you are most pumped for in December. Which Wait. ones are you for sure buying? Let's 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 you and I pick what. Two, yeah, that's two. that's that, that's next. Oh, yeah. okay. Sorry, to, Gabe, sorry what? to rush you. Look at me. What, Gabe? I gotta get gotta give some trust here. This is my month. This is my birthday month. Yeah. This is the month of the holidays. Mm -hmm. This is the month where I am going to buy Tiny Metal and Xenoblade Chronicles Two. Okay, I am. I, well, Xenoblade was supposed to be mine. 
Pick one that nope, isn't you, Xenoblade. <laughs> the end is nigh. All right, so there you go. I, I played about 20 levels of that. I would like to get closer to 600, though. All right, the end is nigh and Tiny Metal are Zach's recommendations. For me, I'm definitely going to go with Xenoblade and uh, mm-hmm. Nine Parchments, actually. Yeah. Uh, and, you know, Tiny Metal's probably, you know, one for me as well. But since you use it, we'll give some love to Nine Parchments. Yeah, I think those are, I think that's a good, a good quartet there. Um, I'm also going to throw in uh, a little tiny extra recommendation for Brawl Out. Because I feel like that game has gotten a lot of praise, and if it does hit this month, it'll be good. Um, but yeah, I'm all about Tiny Metal. I am going to play Xenoblade Chronicles. Can't wait to pick that up. So let us know what you're going to be picking up in the comments down below. We'll keep our fingers crossed for Payday 2. And until next time, everybody, thanks so much for watching. Make sure to subscribe. We'll do one of these videos every month, even in the new year, so that you are pumped and primed and ready to know what to buy on Switch each and every first day of a new calendar page. Until that time, thanks again. Have a fantastic day for myself and Gabe. Switch Force. Out!